Good morning, letters. Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. Today we'll have such fun. Yes. Can you spot what's different in the class? Oh, it's not really a class. What's different about my video? What do we call that piece of clothing? It's not a glove, a glove has fingers. A mitten, yes. Did you spot all the mittens in my class? Can you guess how many? It's less than 20, I'll give you that clue, and it's more than two. Let's count to see how close you were with your guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If you guessed thirty, you are way off. I hope you, your guess was closer than that. Now, if there are twelve mittens, how many pairs? Not the pair you can each can't see any pairs here. How many pairs of mittens? Should we count that? One, two, three, four, five, six. A pair is when something goes together. Two things go together. A pair. So we said 12 mittens. Look, that's number 12. Should we try and count to 12 and back? I'm sure you can do that easy peasy. Let's roll hands. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Now roll the other way. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay. I want to show you a number. Let's see if you know the number. Zero, that's an easy one. And what about this one? Two. Can you clap a pattern with me or do the actions like Teacher Mareika? We'll do a two part pattern like this. One, two, one, two, one, two. Can you do it? I'm sure you can. One, two, one, two. That's too easy, too easy. Let's try a different one. What number? Yes. See the triangle one, number three. Let's clap three times. One, two, three. Let's make a pattern using our body with three. Let me think. I know. One, two, three. One, two, three. Copy me. One, two, three. Do the same. One, two, three. One, two, three. See, it's a pattern. One, two, three. You do the same thing over and over again. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. What about this one? How many? Remember? Two lines, the dice picture for this is a rectangle, so it must be number six. Yes, now six, look, you can also see it as two, 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 or three and three. Number six, let us make six stars. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. What about this number? You don't get this one on a dice. It's number Eight, well done. You do get that one though. What's half of eight? Only four. Oh, someone's pulling the dustbin in. It's making a terrible noise there. Can you hear it? Listen. It's going in here. I can still hear it. Yes, four and four make eight. What can we do eight times? Let's stamp our feet eight times. You can't see my feet, but I'll stamp it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. What about this number? This one isn't on the dice either. What number is this? Number 10. 
you see that one on the dice, the flower one, that's for number five. So five and five together makes ten. What can we do ten times? I've noticed Josephine has been practicing clicking fingers. So shall we try and click? You take these fingers and you let them slide off the thumb and they click. This, your Peter Pointer looks like it's clicking with, but it's not really. The noise comes from the Toby Tor on the Tommy Thumb when they slip off. Let's go ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What number? Remember, this was half of eight. What makes a square? Four. We can do a pattern with four. Let me think what we can do with four. I know. Copy me. We are going to make a four part pattern. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Must I go slower? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep up. One, two, three, four. 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 Let's practice that. What number is this? Yes, number five. Let's bang fists five times. One, two, three, four, five. That was quick, quick. And that one? Number seven. Let's think. I wish you were here to help me think of ideas of what to do. What can we do seven times? What about open and close seven times? Let's close seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It makes me think of going to the gym, opening and closing. But I went too far. I did more than seven, silly Mareka. Number nine. Let us tap nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eleven, yes. We haven't really looked at it, numbers 11 and 12 yet, but that's number 11. What can we do 11 times? Hmm. Let me think. What about um, touching elbows? One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And twelve we looked at when we counted our mittens. And number one? That's too easy. Maybe give me a loud hip hip hooray one time. I'm gonna try and listen. Oh, I wish I could hear you. I'm sure you shouted hip hip hooray. Well done, guys. Now let me move this over. Now mittens aren't the only things that we can wear in winter. There are lots of different winter clothes. I've got some pictures here. Can you see? I hope you can. What is that? You wear it on your head. Yes, a beanie. Let's clap beanie. Beanie. What must you wear on your feet? Socks, definitely warm socks. Let's clap socks. Socks. It's not a mitten. Look, it's got fingers. So it must be a glove. Gloves. A pair of gloves. Gloves. Oh, here's the same as on our wall. Mittens. Mittens. Well done. I'm wearing one of these. It's a knitted thing, a jersey. Should we clap jersey? Jersey, well done. What about this one? Boots, boots. These words are all short words. We've only clapped once or twice so far, short words. What is this? It's not a long sleeve top. It's what you wear under the top. I think I've got one on. Yes, look. I've got one on. So what do we call it? 
have vest. Vest. See another short word. What are those called? We don't see it often here because it doesn't get that cold here. But in very cold places, people wear earmuffs. Earmuffs. And this? Jacket. Yes. Jacket. Another short word. How can we make this longer? What kind of jacket is this? Yes, a puffer jacket. Let's rather clap puffer jacket. Puffer jacket. How many claps? Four. That's better. Ooh, look at that. A coat. Look, it's long. It's not a jacket. A jacket is short up to your waist. But a coat is longer than a waist. Let's clap coat. Coat. Aha. Stockings. Who of your mommies wears stockings? My girls laugh at me, but I wear stockings in winter, otherwise my legs are too cold. I can't show you my stockings. Let's clap stockings. Stockings. And what do we wear over our stockings? Some pants. Pants. And the last picture I've got, a scarf. Scarf. What is a scarf made of usually? Wool. It could be fleece. Let's clap woolly scarf so it can be a bit longer. Woolly scarf. At least we had one four clap word and one three clap word. Now have a look at, with me up close at my clothes pictures. I'm going to show you a picture. You must look carefully. I'm not going to tell you what's on the picture because we've gone through the words. You know what the clothing pieces are called. You must just look at the picture. Then I'm going to take one away. And when I show it to you again, you must figure out which one is missing. Have a look. Here you can see five items of winter clothing. Look carefully. Let the colours help you remember. Now, which one is missing? Yes, teacher's rainbow scarf. Well done, guys. Look again. What is missing now? What colour was it? Yes, the purple beanie. Look carefully. What was in the corner that's missing now? Yes, the red gloves. Ooh, there's a big empty space. What was there? It was Josie's star stockings. And our last one. What is missing now? Yes, the grey vest. Now we have practiced our eyes. Now we are going to practice ears. We are practicing memory. We did visual memory, that's why I didn't say the word because you had to only look at it. Now we are going to do auditory memory, that's listening memory. I'm going to say the clothing pieces and you've got to repeat it. Unfortunately, I can't hear you. But I'm going to say the list of clothing pieces and where you are sitting there at home, you must repeat it after me and see if you can remember the list. Okay, now I'm going to use my pictures just to make sure I don't make a boo-boo. Okay, you ready? Okay. Beanie, scarf, stockings, pants. Listen again. Beanie, scarf, stockings, pants. Say it back. I hope you remembered all of them. I'll give you a clue. The next four items are all things you wear at the top. 
listen coat jacket jersey vest coat jacket jersey vest try and say them back i hope you remembered them all here's another one listen closely mittens gloves socks boots mittens gloves socks boots say them back did you remember them all let's do one more mittens beanie earmuffs jersey listen again mittens beanie earmuffs jersey say them back Where is our green bag? I must have left it on the shelf behind the camera. Let me try and think what was in the green bag. Oh yes, I remember. Are you ready? Would you rather go for a swim in the Arctic Ocean with a, with a whale? No, let's make it a narwhal. That's a bit more exciting. Would you rather go swimming in the Arctic Ocean with a narwhal or would you like to go for a hike to one of the mountains with a polar bear? Which one would you do? 